It's so gross. It's so gross. If Claire and Jill would have been in there at the same time, I don't know if Nemesis would have had a chance. That's how it happened. From a liquor. Hi guys, my name is Stephanie Panicello. I am the voice motion capture actress for Claire Redfield in Resident Evil 2. I hope you like bullets because I've got a hell of a lot more. And today we're checking out some brand new footage from Resident Evil 3. Be sure to like and subscribe for more episodes of Experts React. All right, I'm excited. Let's see it. All right, let me grab mine. My... Holy crap. This is just the start of the game? Oh, snap. Nemesis! Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, Jill, yeah, take that down. Nemesis looks great. He does. He looks super badass. I know some people were a little bit worried at first, but I, I feel like he looks awesome. Jill, girl, you gotta run! Are you kidding me? How does he just... Nemesis just keeps him reappearing. Is he worse than Mr. X? I don't know. Kind of reminds me of like the old school games when you had like a big boulder that was running and about to crush you. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like Nemesis was just crushed by a bunch of boulders, so that's good. It's really cool to see the first impression of Nemesis and like how he just comes out of nowhere, the constant chase. It's that uh, mechanism that they're using, which I think they've done really well with Capcom, is like how he just keeps coming. And that's something that I, I felt, you know, obviously with Mr. X, but it's cool to see that they've used something similar as well. Sorry. Girl, get him out. Oh, man. You better take that car. You gotta get the hell out of there. It's my turn. Whoa! Sassy Jill, I like it. Is that Carla? Look at him! I love his shaggy hair. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people that, um, you know, have been having crushes on Carlos. I mean, I get it. <laughs> it looks like they've really played up on the relationship between Jill and Carlos and how that kind of, kind of all works and ties together. I think if Claire and Jill would have been in there at the same time. I think there would be like butting heads because it would be like two strong females that are kind of alpha-ish. Damn it. Probably by a quarter of the way through, they would start to be like, oh, oh, I get you. I understand your abilities. You know what? Maybe you're not so bad. If these two were teamed up together throughout it, I don't know if Nemesis would have had a chance. My relationship with Claire Redfield yeah, I mean, obviously she's a badass and come on. Even though she may not be as trained as everybody else um, initially within the Resident Evil universe, what's really beautiful about her is that she is so resilient and she's got this vulnerability that's so strong and she cares so much about other people. Because I care. Being able to take on a character like that, that is so incredibly iconic is such a big deal and they wanted me to be my own version of Claire, but it's like, what the heck does that mean, you know? Mr. H, who's the producer, he just looked straight at me and he said, uh, no, you are Claire, you just do what you're doing. And I was just like, whoa, I was like, oh, dude, what the hell? <laughs> well, I guess we both reacted similarly. No, 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 wait. Yeah, what the hell, dude? I hate that guy. Killing your own people? It makes for um, a good villain when they're just a human being. I mean, he's got a very, very clear reasoning for everything that he does. And from what I can tell, it looks like money. Ugh. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Ah! Oh God, ew. <laughs> oh God, it's so gross. It's so gross you can like feel it. It was like, get the hell off me. Ugh. <laughs> At least the liquors, their tongue is just going and like lashing you up and, and like that's the end of you. But like the other creatures where they just like go into your throat and like bleh, bleh, yeah. Oh shit, are you freaking kidding me? Again, Nemesis, dude. All right, we've got a big battle scene here. I love this iteration of him here though because we finally get to see his face. Ah, uh, look at that. It looks so good. 
it does look really cool, but also looks disgustingly gross. Which I appreciate because he's been wrapped up the entire time in the first version. And I love all the different weapons that he has. Whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, that's how it happened. So that exact moment is shown in RE2, which we know RE3 is all the experiences that happened before, but that's really cool that they were able to like show even that moment of how that police officer made it to the very top of that from a liquor. Oh gosh, I don't know what I hate more. It's really beautiful to have all those little Easter eggs throughout the game. Capcom didn't just create these environments. They actually were really smart and they like tied it together. It feels like a complete story. Badass, Joe. That's right. Take its ass down. I would assume a lot, uh, a lot of this stuff looks like it was probably done by the stunt performer just because it's so action-based. But I haven't shunned away from some. <laughs> So motion capture is where you actually wear that black suit that's got all the white shiny balls or whatever, and it kind of captures what your movement is. But then there are instances where you have full performance capture, what? which is exactly what I did for Resident Evil 2 as Claire Redfield. Just because you don't look like the character doesn't mean you didn't do the motion capture and the facial capture and the voice. You know, just surviving. So after watching this footage, I am so stoked to go play RE3 and get a little Jill action, see what it's like to play as Jill, uh, which I think is super cool considering the fact that she's another badass lady in the Resident Evil universe. I have been so good waiting to make sure I reacted for you guys genuinely, but I want to play. Just let me play. No, it's just frozen. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> When she goes into the freezer, she's like, I should have packed my parka or something. I forget how she says it. I remember when I had to record it, I was like, all right, I guess I should have packed my parka. 